Welcome back to the FNAF Fan Game <laughs> Podcast, where we review new FNAF fan games, new FNAF fan games. <laughs> Uh, FNAF fan games FNAF on, Twitch on Twitch and Twitch. on, on, uh, on itch.io. On itch.io. It's really epic balls. But like, like my favorite one so far that we reviewed um, is uh, uh, can- Five Nights at Candy's. <laughs> 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 I, the look on your face when I said that, because that means you you knew exactly what I was talking yeah. about. <laughs> All right, so Carson died. Yeah. And it's very unfortunate. So we, we lost Riken, we lost Graham, we lost Johnny, and we lost Carson. They're all in the void right now. All in the shadow dimension. Yeah. Um, I feel like we're the horror, the characters in the horror movie that survive. Yeah, that's precisely what it is. I mean, I mean, the police have been after us for a long time after, you know, the incident that we were talking about before. But um, it's just us two. Um, God bless them. We wouldn't even be here recording if we weren't legally contracted to record every week. Yeah. No, we just me and Joey we're just we're on bad terms right now. Yeah, we yeah. I I hate this guy so much, but well, it know, might it might have, have something to do with all the feces I've spread all over your bed one morning. Oh no, no, no. No, I, I like that, but <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm into that. That was not I like why it. I hate you, I know. Yeah. Man, what the world is crazy right now. I know. Think about all the amazing things that are that are Crazy, uh, insane, epic, lol XD things that are I know. happening right no now. No more, no more Drumpf. No more Cheeto and Chief. You're fired, Drumpf. <laughs> you know that someone's like entire like Twitter. That's... Oh uh, yeah, no, you're totally right. Um, shout out to Jeff Tydrick. Who's that? He's this guy who's 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 literally entire livelihood is just. Um, oh, oh. I was just dunking on Drumpf oh, on Twitter. Owning the Drumpf. O- owning Drumpf on Twitter and. Twi- Tr- Trump is no longer this president. Tr- Trump got banned from Twitter and Spotify and Spotify and YouTube and Twitch and Discord and Shopify and um, everything else. How do you get banned from a music listening service or a streaming service? I don't know. Because you, the only way you could in- inflict like a political opinion is by like naming your playlist. Uh, I believe in this. Yeah, no, like I don't, I don't understand. Like, 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 was Trump gonna like start like making diss tracks on people? <laughs> like, I don't understand. Actually, I wouldn't mind to see. I, w- I wouldn't mind seeing him record a hip hop diss track. <sighs> yeah, well, you know, Trump's gone, and you know, I'll say something. <laughs> I don't like the guy. <laughs> Personally, I I know it's a very unpopular. Opinion. It's a very unpopular opinion. It's a very hot take. I'm getting a lot of hate for this. Not Trump a, is a no go. I'll not, tell you that much. But not a huge fan. But it's not going to be the same. Like Biden is just not as funny as Trump. Like who are we going to beef on now? It, no, exactly. Like Trump. I mean, Biden and FNAF is not as funny <laughs> as Trump and FNAF. <laughs> I like how that's the connection you make. That's just the facts. Because like Biden being in Five Nights at Freddy's is just not as funny as Trump being in Five Nights at Freddy's. Your concept of your concept of humor is Breaking Bad, FNAF. And, and Donald J. Trump. <laughs> yeah. For, no, that's honestly what it is. That's all it is. Like, that's how I test to a good who I want to be the president. Would they be funny in Breaking Bad? <laughs> and would they be funny in Five Nights at Freddy's? <laughs> that's... Like, uh, uh, so one thing uh, people don't know about you, you actually were able to vote, like, really early. Mm-hmm. And the reason you voted... Because of this podcast. I, yeah. was, I was given, like, special permissions by Trump himself. Like when you when you're famous YouTube let's player podcasters like us, you mm-hmm. guys get special privileges. Don, mm-hmm. uh, Joey over here got to vote early. We actually cannot get arrested. We we, we are uh, immune from the law. Yeah, we are above the law. We don't pay taxes. We don't pay taxes. We can have sex with any woman we want. <laughs> <laughs> this is like what is this like a middle school wish list or something? <laughs> Yo, we can like, like g- g- go like, without with a girl like any time and we like. Can, uh, like, uh, like uh, get, that peaked the microphone, by the way. Sorry. Get, get, we can get like a free Xbox 360, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, yeah. So we. So that's. Anyway, go on with what you were saying. <laughs> I have no idea where we're going with this. We, were, I, we had we had a thing on the bulletin today. We had something. Me and Joey had the privilege of perusing Cameo today. Yes, Cameo.com. Cameo.com. And if you don't know what Cameo is, is I, I will carefully explain. 
It's a website where celebrities can send special video messages like to birthdays. your request. Birthday, birthday, happy birthday wishes. Hashtag um, roasts. Ha- ro- roasts. That's what that's what the website says. Hashtag roasts. You can you can request anything you want. Um, in text form and have them say it or just have them wish a message to some or say something to somebody uh, by name, you know, oh man, your favorite celebrity saying something cool, mm-hmm. you know, and acknowledging your existence, like that, that's just heaven on earth right there. Um, the only downside is um, the fact that you're on that website doesn't bode well for you because if, you, if, if that's how you're making money now. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's, of course, there's some like exceptions, but like, there, there are some celebrities on there uh, distinctly. You pointed this out to me. There, there are some celebrities on Cameo for that raise money for charity. Mm-hmm. And that's a huge exception. That's a completely different category. But then there's Pee Wee Herman on the website. Pee Wee Herman. Like, uh, the, the, almost the exact definition of a washed up celebrity yeah, at no. this point. Yeah, after, after he jerked off in a porn theater, it, you know, <laughs> it kind of went downhill. And when he went, this is crack. Rock cocaine. And what's really bad is that no one knows how much it takes to kill you. <laughs> and, you know, they probably, probably what happened that day when they were filming, oh, we forgot the fake crack. Oh, don't worry, guys. You can use mine. <laughs> I, got, like, I got a good supply on me all at all, at all, on, on and he all, took at out all the, times. he took out the little capsule. The, okay. And, you know, a, a lot of the people on this site, as we said, are washed up celebrities I, I'm going to, you know, grace our listeners' ears with a list of the <laughs> the people that you can financially support and get a message of your choice <laughs> there's, from. There's some people you might not expect on that list. Let's just go into it. Uh, just Gilbert, say just say the people you would expect first, and then we'll just like <laughs> have it. Just you, tell the more esteemed, more esteemed guest here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've, we've got the classics. Like, as if you're a fan of cold ones, uh, who. Uh, Cold mm-hmm. ones. Uh, if you don't know, it's another podcast. They did it. They did a not as good as ours, but uh, you know. And, you know, they're they're kind of B rate. But um, <laughs> they they did a video where they requested cameos from random people, and they did some wacky uh, wacky texts in their requests. You know, and uh, one of the celebrities they requested was Gilbert Godfrey. You know, uh, Gilbert Godfrey. Oh, Gilbert Godfrey. Not Gilbert Godfrey. I voiced the. El- no, that's that's not that's my Walter White voice. What am I doing? <laughs> um, I don't know. What, he voiced Iago. He voiced Iago yeah, in Aladdin. He voiced Iago and that guy. That guy. Yeah. Um, you know, we got Gilbert Godfrey, <laughs> Pee Wee Herman, uh, as we said. Uh, John Lovitz. Yes, John Lovitz is on it for like five hundred dollars. <laughs> and every single the funny every single pi- so you can like see like previews of like I guess the ones that he likes the most. The beginning frame for every single one is the exact same picture of him looking like he doesn't know how to like. <laughs> Use the phone. It's the funniest thing. My granddaughters told me how to operate a phone, and I'm filming this cameo video for you. I was on Friends once. <laughs> Good old John. Good old John Lovitz. Uh, he was on SNL, apparently. That's his crowning achievement. Crowning achievement, which now that we look back, uh, not much of a crowning achievement anymore, but, you know, well, that's yeah. a whole other conversation. But, you know, we got John Lovitz. Uh, the classic Full House man himself, Bob Saget. Yes, Bob Saget is on it. This what? Is nothing really else to add to that, Bob Saget. Bob Saget, you know, as prestigious as his career <laughs> is. Uh, and then we've also got um, such all-star, all-stars as uh, Tony Hawk. <laughs> Tony Hawk. And yes, he looks just as washed up as you'd imagine. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know if it's like a common theme but, or like a requirement to, when you do cameo videos is to have like a bunch of eye wrinkles and like depressed expressions at the beginning of your video before you actually start talking. Yeah. Like, I don't know if they realize that when you start a video it's recording you. <laughs> yeah, like they I don't th- <laughs> because they have the they have the resources to edit down the video where they're happy. Yeah, no, all Tony Hogg ever does <laughs> All Tony Hawk ever does now is tweet about like how he's at the airport and he's like, you know, you kind of look like Tony Hawk. My my son loves Tony Hawk, and he's like, yeah, yeah, that's me. That's all he ever, he always tweets about that stuff happening, and that's just so sad. <laughs> that's the only way to, to describe it yeah. is sad. The he's not getting any you know royalties from Tony yeah. Hawk Pro Skater Nintendo sixty four anymore. So I don't yeah don't so. think he's doing. That well. That's why he's on uh, cameo. cameo for a, for two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. 
Something like that. They were all wait. The so Tony digits. Tony Hawk, the man himself, does two hundred dollars, but John Lovitz does like five hundred. I think so. Are you? I'm guessing that's. I, I guess you set your own price. Yeah, you set your own price, but like we've got there, there's all these stars from like The Office that mm-hmm. are like side characters. That there was a whole category for The Office. <laughs> True, and another one of my personal fav- favorites is a uh, Hank Schra- uh, Schrader yes. from Breaking Bad. Yeah, the guy who vo- – Dean something. I Dean Norris or something? I don't even know his last name, so that <laughs> doesn't bode well. I need minerals, Marie. Happy birthday. <laughs> I can guarantee you that's one of his first um, cameo messages to someone. Yeah. I bet he hates it. <laughs> Actually, no, I I don't know. I can't say that, but – he Honestly, the way he – the cameos that I – well, it doesn't matter what he displays openly on his cameo videos. He's supposed to oh, be yeah. happy in those. He's not probably not doing – he's probably comfortable. He's probably comfortable. Yeah, I'm sure he is. I'm sure he makes tons of money from the royalties. But. From, like, Breaking Bad and stuff like mm-hmm. that. You know, he – I don't. I can't imagine. I was saying this to you earlier. I can't imagine him being cast in anything else. Really, at this point, he's exactly. too synonymous with the role he's already done. You can tell when some. You can tell like by the way. I ne- we didn't really watch any of the videos, except for um, <laughs> except for uh, Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, Pee Wee Herman and <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey. Which I I, I might want to add. Uh, Pee Wee Herman's voice does not sound. Like Pee Wee Herman. He doesn't look like Pee Wee Herman either. He looks like an old man, like trying to impersonate. <laughs> yeah, Pee-wee yeah. Herman. You can tell when some when like a celebrity is just on that website just for fun, and when when they they need it to, and when they need it desperately, like John Lovitz with the exact <laughs> same facial expression for every single video. I'm John Lovitz. My uh, granddaughter's taught me how to film with my f- camera phone. Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman staring at the screen for a good five seconds and going. Hello, <laughs> I'm Pee Wee Herman. Her. <laughs> uh, I so feel painful. And then there's um, there's uh, I remember there was Violent J and Shaggy Tudo of Insane Clown Posse fame. Could you could you explain to the audience what that group is? So, personally, I'm a fan of their music. I like their music, but they like they like to make music about just being a social outcast, <laughs> like being. And, and like became. killing rich people and stuff. Down with the monarchy. Yeah, no, they make very um, crass music. I'll say that they make very <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, very crude music. And their their um, cameo was very. I thought it was very unique from the others <laughs> because they put unlike John Levitz or, <laughs> or Pee Wee Herman. Pee-wee Herman. They actually put a lot of energy. They put a lot of energy. They go. Like I saw one of them where he was like he was like kind of like staying away from the camera. He's like, "Hey, you know who you know who this is?" Ah, and then he like jump scares the camera <laughs> and he goes, "It's me, Violet J." He he's doing like all the hand symbols. And like and then there was one there was one that I watched where it was like him like so he was like Brent. His the guy's name was Brent. <laughs> and like th- I'm probably going to explain this horribly, but he was like, "Brent, you're 53." I'm 50, I'm 48, I'm like a lifetime younger than you, man. And, oh, man, you were a juggalo before, before jugglers were even a thing. And he started doing like, that, eh, eh, <laughs> for like saying that like juggler wasn't even a word or something. Also, I might want to add that the, these two people, the two people of the, the band uh, are constantly in clown yes, makeup. Yes, they are always in clown makeup. They went to court one time. They sued the FBI because the FBI called them a gang. Like, they called their, like, fan base, like, a gang. They classified it. So they went to the, sue the FBI. And they were wearing the clown makeup. Did they win that suit? No, they did not win. No. And I'm so, I was so sad that they didn't because there's no reason for them not to win. It doesn't matter. That's like, that, 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 that's like saying all, that's like saying all, like, the baby fans are in a gang. <laughs> that's literally what, like, it's stupid. It's that's like, like saying all Call Me Carson fans are pedophiles. I mean... Oh yeah, well, yeah, well that's a whole that's a whole different thing. You uh, get what all yeah. people who liked him, I guess. I don't know how many people are still fans of him, but no, Carson's a true gamer. I can't yeah. let him leave him alone. I don't abandon him. So yeah, they're both they're wearing the climate of their video, and like, and then he's like, and he said, "It's like, oh, you get pussy still? Hey man, you get pussy? Like this is violent. This is I'm not kidding about any of this. I'm, you, I'm sure you can find it. You get pussy? Like I only got three years until I'm fifty three too." If I don't get pussy, what's the point of it all? And then he like starts like pretending to cry. He's like, I'm getting emotional, man. I'm getting emotional by the thought of not getting pussy when I'm 53. <laughs> and that's what he's like. And he's like, 
<laughs> he's like getting, he's like pretending to cry. And he's like, anyway, Brent, have a happy, happy birthday. And please let me know if you're still getting pussy. <laughs> it's the funniest. And then, and then there was one that was Violent J. And then there's. Well, I think, I think that they, the one thing I wanted to say was these, the, what, what makes them exceptions is that I think that they're doing fine financially. Yes, they are. They have. And, and like with their fan base, you know, their fan base is very dedicated. I'll say that they have the meeting of the jugglers or whatever. I don't even know. I think it's something like that every year where they go to Detroit or wherever it is. And that's where the, I'm pretty sure that's where the picture then with Gilbert Gottfried came from. And they have an epic concert every year, and yeah, except they for this year, but that was that was for external reasons. That was be- that was because of us. <laughs> we 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 told them no, no, not and this like, year. Okay, okay, all right, dog. We're 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 uh, uh, res- uh, reserving this venue for the Chillcast Live. But yeah, we're we are waiting for them to invite us to the meeting of the Jugglers. We yeah. are. I want. I want waiting a, patiently for. I want that. a letter in the mail. I want a letter. In Our the film mail. teacher is actually. Oh yeah, we discovered that our film teacher it was friends with them in college. Yeah, and he was like their manager in college for a while before they got mm-hmm. big. He kind of gave up on them. He actually gave them the idea to put makeup on. Yeah, he, he was an active um, clown makeup wearer in college. <laughs> I'm sorry, we can't go any further yeah. with that. I don't want to go any further with that. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh. Okay. But yeah, that's pretty much cameo. Cameo. But I think we should also talk about. There's two. There's two, two. There's two. There's the the terrible two. Two people that I did not expect to see yeah. on cameo. Yeah. And okay, one it makes me severely depressed that yeah. he's on cameo, and one it just makes me, you know, giggle and very inside. happy. Very happy that this man. Actually, it's just bizarre that he's on the second one. He's just bizarre that he's on cameo. Yeah. Well, the first one, sad to say, is Aaron Hansen. Yeah. You're. You're, right uh, next to Violent J, which I thought was very funny. <laughs> Violent J. <laughs> I don't know why it was funny to see Aaron Hansen next to Violent J. Because they're the same person, essentially. I mean, yeah. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> Game Grumps is the insane clown posse of gaming. He, he's their manager. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with a... Oh, yeah, real, Aaron real, Hansen's our film teacher, but yeah. Real good touring? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what if it's say clown posse? Did it real good touring? <laughs> oh, but uh, as I was saying, you know... It's really depressing to see that Aaron Han- Aaron Hanson on on cameo because he's, I'm, I hate to say it, he's, he's pretty kinda, washed up. He's getting he's getting. I hate to say it as an OG Game Grumps fan, John a Game and, Grumps and, and juggalo, a Game jo- Grumps juggalo. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, fan. I was a fan of you know Aaron and Dan, Aaron and Dan, Aaron and John. Um, you know. Everyone, you know, everyone, yeah, everyone, everyone like them. You can't say nobody. If if you say you didn't like Game Grumps, you're probably not. Lying. You're not true. To, you're li- you're lying to yourself. Yeah. Like you know, Game Grumps. You know, all the all the eras of Game Grumps, even the second to most recent one. You know, when they were doing okay. It was, I think it's when when COVID hit. I know it's easy to blame COVID for everything, but honestly, their sense of humor. And they're. I think they just stopped becoming funny after like the beginning of like t- like late 2018 to me. I started getting out, and that's when I started watching like, um, Bob Saget. <laughs> you know Bob Saget's podcast. Yeah. Bob Saget cast. <laughs> no, but I tell you if you agree, their Game Grumps, their their uh, content and this their, is a call out post to Game Grumps. It Game, is. Aaron Hansen, if you're listening to this, pull up, dude. I will freaking kick your ass. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'd like to see that, yeah. Um, we'll put a video of that if that happens yeah. at the end of the episode. But I would say that their not their fun. comedy, their content, their character has kind of become stagnant. A little bit, I would say, a couple months after Matt and Ryan left, uh, the the fr- previous editors of of uh, Game Grumps, which I'm kind of yeah. glad they did. Me too, because they were able to blossom into their own like. They're, I would, don't want to say brand because that's kind of the problem with Game Grumps. I would say they very really blossom into their own career. I yeah. say, yeah, I would say. Um, but you know, it's kind of depressing to see Aaron on there, which means because I, I did, it was such. A, I took a one eighty. I was like, whoa, you know, why is he on here? And, and then, then it hit me. And then it's like, boom, boom. The all they make now, at least, again, you can blame COVID for the situation, but all they make now is <laughs> it feels like compilations of their compilations. <laughs> Compilations of them viewing compilations. Compilations of them viewing compilations of compilations. Clip, clips of, of them reviewing reviewing clips of them reviewing clips. And it's and it's weird because I don't know if you know this, but like 
Oni and G and Aaron, they hate each other now. I didn't. Why? Do you know why? I think it's. I honestly don't know. I know that like. I think it's just because Aaron like hates like all of his. I think Aaron like they hate all. He hates all of like the people from Newgrounds now. Well, there's a reason for that. I mean, yeah. Do you know about the recent? It's not recent now, but it uh, when he made a stinky on oh, Twitter yeah. about. This is wrong. This is I. You can't. That bully, was really you can't stupid. Bully new yeah, ground creators. The, um, the pillow guy, the hair guy. He was. He made like a parody of other animators. It's not content. even. It was not even mean spirited at all. In my, it, opinion. it was so sarcastic. It was so obviously sarcastic. And then Aaron and freaked then out. Said, this is mean. He was like trying I used to get criticized like this, and it hurt. It hurt. It hurt. He made a whole post, uh, a whole diddling drama about mm-hmm. you know. Being the animation community being mistreated, which again, you know, at some extent is true, but here's the it's case. not a commu- it's not it's it's the, mistreated by like the corporate YouTube, not by not by the funny hair guy, not by fans, you know. Yeah. Well, no, the, the the reason I it's kind of dumb to me is because the creators that it was supposed to be parroting or making fun of, you know, making fun of in quotes, mm-hmm. thought it was yeah. great. With a couple exceptions, but yeah. They, they Other res- than that, they liked it. They they responded, you know, they responded to Aaron saying, "Hey, you know, we don't need you to do defend us. We thought it was funny. It's obviously sarcastic." And then Oni and G went and was like, "Grow up, my God! Grow up! Grow up! Grow up!" He just pretty much that. I think the problem with I I, I don't know. I, it's really depressing, you know. Yeah. Because. For a while, they were like my. Th- they were the people that I watched to and looked up to. I, 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 as far as what they've accomplished, I do look up to it, um, and I aspire to work towards that. But I think they've become too self-aware in their humor, that they yeah, they, they know that go. they're funny, and so now they don't have to try anymore to be funny. Yeah, I watched a couple minutes of a uh, Game Grumps episode recently, and twenty minutes in, I felt like I didn't even recognize. What I was watching. I know. No, I like their old stuff. I sometimes watch their old stuff, but uh, I just can't get through any of their new stuff. It's just it's just weird. Let's move on to a positive note. We'll okay, yeah, let's, can we go on to the, our second guy? I think we kind of dragged on with Aaron too long. The whole Aaron This debacle. one is a complete 180. This is, <laughs> it is the former president of Mexico. You know him. You love him. And we tried to, and we tried to buy, we were, we were thinking about like buying like Violent J. <laughs> or like the president of Mexico back. Hey guys, we had a legit like discussion, conversa- discussion like an in depth discussion of whether we should buy some good equipment for the future or buy a two hundred dollar cameo from ICP from Violent J. <laughs> saying, "Welcome to Chillcast. Welcome to Chillcast." And then it kind of devolved into us thinking if we should like buy it for like our film teacher to like play at the beginning of every year. Welcome to film. You'll learn to. Set up lights, cameras, cameras. Like you can't, you got him. That'd be very cool. That would be so dope. It's a worthwhile purchase. It's just you know, hey, you know, but you know, we could make that decision if you guys check out the, the red merch bubble. Page. Yeah, all I'm saying. I'm can just I- saying it'd be kind of funny if the former president of Mexico. <laughs> Why is the former president of Mexico on Cameo? Yeah, first of all, why is he on Cameo? With Aaron Hansen and Bob <laughs> Saget and the insane clown posse. That website is so strange because, like, you know, like we were saying, it, not everyone on there is washed up. Because some people are just early stages of what, what you'd call, like, their celebrity career or whatever. Yeah, and, there, and again, there's people just putting all of their money to charity, all the money that goes to Cameo to charities. Like, like that. there was this one coach. Who has like a thousand dollars, a thousand dollar cameo, and I, cl- I was okay. Wow, this guy's a freaking psycho. And I click on it. It says, okay, never mind. It's just hundred percent of it goes to charity. So yeah. I guess never mind. <laughs> there was a purpose behind that. Mm-hmm. Uh, that. That's I think the the cast of cameo is very interesting. Yeah. it goes from Snoop Dogg to Tony Hawk to Ice T. <laughs> to the press, to to Sean Spicer, and if you don't know who that was, that was like an official member of the Trump administration. Pol- former political people who have held office or like you know campaign managers, like pe- like somebody who has held the nuclear football is currently on cameo. 
I don't understand how there's like an uh, I mean, I guess I no, I uh, perfectly understand why there's an audience for a uh, Republican or d- a Democrat like former uh, office holders. But I, I don't I just don't understand why you would want Sean Spicer to wish your son a happy birthday. <laughs> his, his, like I feel like that's a bipartisan thing. That like, person's son doesn't even know who that is. I didn't know who that is until <laughs> I until he accidentally leaked his freaking password on Twitter. <laughs> what was it like? It was just a bunch of numbers. Oh, but like Republican one, two, three. Yeah, it was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay, I'm probably going to go to jail for this, but somebody hacked Trump's tw- um, Twitter account a while ago. I want you to guess what it wa- what his password was. Wasn't it like MAGA 2020 or something? Yes! Oh it was literally God. just MAGA 2020, no capitalization. It was and the only, like, the only kind of, like, security measure was there was an exclamation mark at the end of it. It was just MAGA 2020. See, that's how you know it. Dude, safe. you're the president of the United States. Why is your password MAGA? Why is my password more, more cryptic, more cryptic than, than the president? <laughs> and that just makes you wonder if that's what the president's password is. Imagine, like, what, what, like, just, like. The vice president's password is or anything like that. I have a feeling that like, okay, okay. Just to preface this, we don't, we are not a political podcast. We are not, but but the problem is some things like this just need to be mentioned. Some things need to be addressed. It like imagine I have a feeling that he, you know, he one day when he was in in office, he's like, okay, guys, we're changing all of our passwords to to, to you know really display our our beliefs. <laughs> so I want all of you to. Give me your information. I'm changing all of your passwords to stuff that's a little more on brand. No more of this one two three A B X L T uh, taco stuff. You know that's not an actual password. No, you cannot get into my stuff with that password. I was making. You can't that get up. into Carson's stuff. You can't. That is Carson's email password. So oh, go you, bombs away. You know. What I mean? <laughs> just got fun. No, um, <laughs> I'm just imagining them in a boardroom. Hey guys. Um, first of all, uh, the, uh, the president's not here yet, but. Uh, he did give me the bulletin of the debt for today. All right. We need to change all of our passwords to M A G A twenty twenty. Yeah, it's like all right. So everyone will be getting, everyone will be getting personalized email passwords to stay on brand. So, Mike Pence, your password will be changed to uh, Kill All Gays five. Oh goodness. Um, Ben Carson, your password will be changed to Token Black Guy four. <laughs> uh, 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 sir, sir. Um, I'm with the intelligence committee. Um, at the CIA. I think our passwords would be way more secure if we add an exclamation point at the end. Just say. Genius. <laughs> Give that guy a raise. <laughs> he gets the Medal of Freedom. He gets the Medal of Freedom. He gets the blue heart. Was it? The he gets the heart? purple heart. Oh my goodness. Could you imagine? Like Trump like walks on stage, he's like, This man received the medal of freedom. Okay, that's the worst Trump impression ever. Um <laughs> he's like, all right, this guy, I'm not even gonna bother with the Trump. All right, this guy gets the Medal of Freedom. He's like, why? So you can't actually do. He didn't serve in any like uh, protective uh, manner for the country. Uh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. He, he made my password more secure. So <laughs> he shut made, up. He made my password more secure, and you can do that with NordVPN, our Nord sponsor. VPN. Our, we're not sponsored. We're not by sponsored Nord. by NordVPN. We VPN. are sponsored though by Turning Point USA. We're also not res- uh, sponsored by Turning Point USA. No, uh, one day maybe. Um, but, oh, my goodness, this world, uh, it's so easy to say, man, this world's crazy. And I'm sure a lot of people are saying, oh, this world's crazy now. This world's crazy. Oh, you know, or the world's going downhill. You know, no, a lot of people are posting that Star Wars quote, oh, this is how democracy oh ends, God. with thunderous applause. Yeah, I saw that. I saw some, like, I saw some conservative be like, he was like, all right, so it was like on November 3rd, it was like, People are saying that, or whenever, I oh, wait, whenever Biden became president, I don't remember. Like, not like inaugurated, obviously, but I mean, like, announced. He was like, people, people are acting like this is when, this is on the Ewok. I don't know anything about it. This is, people are saying this is like the Ewok planet when he, when, when the empire fell, but this is actually like the Galactic Senate when the empire <laughs> rose. And I was like, that is based. <laughs> oh, man. People, Okay, there was a okay. I guess we're just go full full on. We're going full on politics call us, here. Call this the political episode. It might as well be, you know, because yeah. we we started with cameo and <laughs> somehow got to. We talked about yeah, like insane clown posse. Talking about <laughs> pussy. Oh goodness. <laughs> Yeah. I was really hoping that someone walked in when you were yelling that earlier. I w- I was really nervous because like you're like 
uh, Johnny Sins is like right outside the door. Yeah, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. Come on in, our first guest. No. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, we were, we, today was a very interesting range of topics, but I guess we'll have to call this one the Politicast. The Ooh. Politicast. Whoa. Whoa. All right, we just lost all of our viewers. So. Uh, I mean, it's kind of been kind of going that way anyway. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> the, the, <laughs> we just start crying. <laughs> the rest of the, the the rest of the podcast is just just crying. Um, if you're listening to this point of the podcast, please comment down below. I like alligators, and then I will know that you are a true committed, a fan. true fan. You will receive a free Chillcast T-shirt. <laughs> we will be on Cameo. <laughs> we, we're going on Cameo, guys. We're going on Cameo for six thousand dollars. Six thousand. None of it's going to charity. <laughs> oh yeah, all us. We could say it's going to charity. It might get people to. Oh, know. that's actually. Oh, yeah. Never mind. It's all going to charity. <laughs> uh, editor, cut that last part yeah, out. Cut that, cut that last part out. Add like, um, yeah, I like sad music at this part, actually. <laughs> you, have, uh, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you know that, you know that, you like stock YouTube yeah. music? Yeah. They're using like Vanoss videos. Oh, my God. I hate uh, Vanoss. Nah. Vanoss, if you're watching this, you're out. <laughs> you're out. I'll let you figure out that means yourself. Vanos. You know, if we're going full political mode, I'm going to... Actually, maybe I shouldn't talk. What do you want to talk? So, Trump, before he left office, he, um, he, 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 he signed a couple of last-minute executive orders that are less than ideal. Kind of... Sh- maybe it was Pence doing it. Maybe Pence snuck into his office and wrote, and wrote, Gays can't adopt people anymore. Oh my goodness, what? Social service people don't have to respond to gay people. That's not a... That's thing. real. I have a picture of it. But that didn't get... That can't. That wouldn't have was, gotten passed. I don't know. Well, tr- I guess Trump was like, <laughs> time to cause some chaos. Time to switch things up. And then, I'm kind of an outcast. I'm, I'm kind, kind of an outcast. outcast. Yeah, he... Well, I don't know if it got... I don't that, think that, it's. That, I don't think going, it's going to get accepted. That's not going to. That's not going to be ratified. I would. It's, I don't think it. it is either. And even if it, I don't think it will. Especially because the Democrats just took the Senate. Even and people, the executive branch. Even people who don't necessarily align to, specifically our views, mm-hmm. would see that as a little. That's what? just a bit on the nose. That's like. What? And he didn't tell anyone about it. It was. I think he meant to keep it like secret or like. I don't know if this is true, again, because I'm not much of a news uh, enthusiast, but I saw, like, a headline of an article. I'm, I'm just, like, a Facebook face, Facebook mom now. I only read the headlines of articles. Yeah. Um, I saw a headline of an article where it's saying that somebody, like, on his way out of the, the Oval Office, he kind of took, like, a vase or something. Really? I don't know. It's something very dumb. I, I doubt it's real. I don't think that's real either. I don't – Trump – is Trump that petty? I don't think so. I, he's financially comfortable. I don't think he would need to. What's the point of still, Biden Spite. is not going. Biden would not care. <laughs> He'll never have this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a part of the QAnon plan. Don't worry about it. The that, base. It's the key to the to unlock the world war. World war. World war. World. <laughs> war. Dude, people. Oh my god, dude. Sometimes it's just like looking at like QAnon posts. On 4chan because they're the funniest thing of all time. <laughs> you know it. Comedy. People have been yeah. Well, Carson's Carson caused that whole thing. So call me Carson. No, our Carson. Oh, he created uh, QAnon. He thought it was funny, but it was a side project. For yeah, that, that's class. that's actually a uh, passion project we've been working on here at Chillcast <laughs> QAnon. The conspiracy. Yeah, but I saw somebody. Somebody said like, and QAnon started as like, oh, it's just this guy from the government who's leaking secrets they're now saying that or at least i saw i don't know if this is widespread but somebody said that QAnon, like the q entity is a supercomputer programmed to predict mass events of insurrection and eventually it's going to realize that the only way to keep peace in the world is by destroying the world so q is going to nuke earth and like restart it which is literally the plot of i have no mouth and i must scream that sounds like the exact i was gonna say that reminds me almost exactly like uh, of the character Baron Zola from Marvel, <laughs> the German scientist who yeah. had his mind transferred to a computer. That's literally, I have no mouth. It's a supercomputer that nukes Earth. Something that uh, Ryan McGee uh, of the Super Mega Cast, great podcast, check them out. Not as um, good as us, but. Not as good as us, of course. Um, <laughs> but 
something that he brought up in an episode was that the the government is comprised of humans. What? No one. What? What? <laughs> Blasphemy. No. The government's not intelligent enough to create this deep of a conspiracy. Exactly. Exactly. It's not. It is not. Exactly. No. People are not going to create like this perfect, like pinpoint accurate conspiracy. conspiracy to somehow wipe out or do anything. There's no. That's exactly like. Like, do people really, like, about 9-11, right? Like, people say, oh, 9-11 was a hoax by Bush. <laughs> do people really think George W. Bush has the intellect to fake, <laughs> to create a hoax, like, no, of that and magnitude? And we're not dissing the man. I mean, we no, are, what, but. <laughs> no, uh, he was, he was, you know, what, when people say, like, he's dead, like, uh, are theorizing this. Most people say it as a joke nowadays. Oh, but. yeah, no, it, I, I never, never considered it as a, a true theory. Yeah. Um, it's al- it's almost like it's almost disrespectful if you think yeah. about it. Um, but I agree. Like, yes, of course, the government is capable of covering events up, or you know, not leaking stuff to them, or not being open with operations. You know, that's why a lot of people are trying to fix things with who's elected into certain roles and like uh, transparency with the people and stuff like that. Yes, they have the capability to lie. They don't have the capability, as you said, to make a pinpoint, accurate, covert, super ultra mega, that corporate. And it, even if conspiracy. it was, even if that was possible, we'd have no idea about it. How would how would a conspiracy of that get leaked on 4chan? Get leaked on 4chan by freaking Q. <laughs> That's not going to happen. That is just not going to happen. If it if if you're planning something, and even if it did talk about, it, guess what? The people who do believe in QAnon. And like, no, it's real. They're just gonna get shot. How are they alive right now? They're gonna get killed by the government so fast. There would be people dropping like flies every day. I have a feeling that someone was bored, right? They're, That's exactly what it was. No, they're, someone. They're a financially secure, bored person who lives in like uh, Silicon po- Valley or uh, something. Poland. Yep. <laughs> Poland, so, you know, they, they're very removed from yeah, U.S. From politics, US politics right. so they don't care. It's not they don't care. Them. They they walk up to their laptop one day and they're coming up with a script because their hobby is writing scripts. And then they're like, they come up with this like cool like government conspiracy concept for a movie, right? And then they're like, no, I'll never make it the film business. You know what I could do? I could convince people this is real and just see what happens. They just they just he dropped it in the cesspool I, of the internet. I do think that's exactly what happened. There's no way. Like, who, what other reason would there to be just make up something like QAnon? Like, I do think it was just some guy. He might have not even been, like, right-leaning. He might have just been bored one day and be like, let's call some chaos. I- I'm all for the chaos. Yeah, he's I'm the, the Joker. He, yeah, he's the, the, he wore Joker makeup. That's one fact we didn't actually say earlier. He did wear jo- Joker makeup yeah. in this process. It's very important for the creative there, process. I just feel bad for, like, the Republicans who are just like, who are just like, oh, yeah, I just want low taxes. <laughs> And then being cl- like, I don't, I feel bad about clumping them with the same people who swarmed the Capitol. Man. Because they're nowhere near, like the normal, like average Mitt Romney politician who then gets clumped in with these psychopaths who think, who think that Chubo Quay, the alien overlord, is coming to rape our kids. Like, oh my goodness. That's what they believe. Jeez. Maybe cut that out. I, don't know. <laughs> I, I had like a, I like a little hesitant like reaction to that. I was like, uh. yeah, maybe cut. The- okay, let me redo <laughs> that. Yeah, cut that out. I might leave it in. Average Mitt Romney Republicans being clumped with, being clumped with the psychopath, the psychos who believe that who believe that Chubo Quay, the alien ob- overlord, is coming to is coming to take your kids and take the chemicals from their brains to make Obama immortal. <laughs> why would they? They want. Why would they care about Obama? Like, really? You think you think alien gods and the devil are like? We must make Obama and Bill Clinton immortal. Like, no, that's stupid. Uh, I think the saddest thing. Okay, I, I, okay, I, this is the Politicast, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I think the saddest thing for me as a U.S. citizen, and this was brought to my attention, you know, because a lot of people are very centered in like their country. You know, mm-hmm. what going that no one. You, you, I can tell you right now that you're not like 
caught up on UK politics right now. I don't care. All I know <laughs> is that Boris Johnson's a goofy old man who like, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, no, no. Um, but that's my point. Like, um, we're v- we're very self-centered in our our political views. I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I, and it, you know, and at the same level, it's good to be proud of like the nation you live in or the country you live in. Um, but the problem is, for me as a citizen, I feel bad because everything that's going on, every negative event or uh, tragedy or like statement that's associated with our government and our country everyone else in the world sees us everyone in our country as that like that's what they see they don't see the fact that we have people fighting for justice and some people may may see that and they may may crane their neck to like only focus on the positives of u.s politics but the depressing thing is we're going to be lumped in with everyone see yeah that's why i feel bad about like like I make I make fun of conservatives all the time. Everyone knows that, but like I feel bad for doing it half the time because like not everyone is. There are, a lot of them are just like all the Republicans that I know. They're just normal people that have done nothing wrong, and they they're not they're not the people make they're not the people peddling these psycho conspiracy theories. They're not the people raiding the Capitol building. They're not the people. Running around wearing, not they're not, wearing a they're mask. Not, yeah, they're not the people waving, sh- waving around the Confederate flag. Or, or like walking into a restaurant and yelling at the manager for, not, for making them wear a mask. I'm not, when I make fun of conservatives, I'm not talking about the good ones, obviously. I think that should go without saying, but I want to say it anyway because I feel bad. The, the lesson, I think the lesson of the day and what we should end on, don't generalize. Yeah. Don't generalize. See people for who they are on the inside. Unless they're British. Unless they're British, because then that's just, you know, a no-brainer. Just ignore yeah, them. Yeah, just no-brainer. Like, like uh, be nice to everyone except for British people. Uh, that's what that's the yeah. chill cast message. That is that is the chill cast message. That is... <laughs> we're joking, we're joking. We're not joking. <laughs> we're not joking. <laughs> oh, man. Well. Joey, you ready to head out to Texas Roadhouse with me and eat from the garbage? Yes, sir. Let's go. Can I have... This time, can I first pick? Because usually you get the banana peels, and I like the I like the banana peels first. No. 